Hey there guys. Today I'm gonna to be working on a leather tool holder for this glass suction cup my buddy Jake sent me. He's got a small glass company out in Texas and he said when he's working on a piece, he throws his window in, um, he needs a place to put this rather than setting it on a table, so he wanted a, a nice little leather tool pouch that's gonna keep it nice and protected in here. Well, I looked around and I found a couple pieces of saddle leather. I had actually uh, made a leatherman sheath for a guy a while back and he gave me a few pieces of this stuff uh, instead of paying me and I thought it was a fair trade. So uh, hopefully we'll get some use out of this today. Uh, it's real good shape, uh, but it does have a real mottled look or a, some stretch marks probably from the cow. Uh, <laughs> maybe it was a mama cow, I don't know. Um, anyway, these may take a dye a little bit, uh, maybe give it a streaky look. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem. It's going to be 100% functional, and I actually think it'll give it a nice rustic look. So uh, uh, if you'll just give me a few moments, we'll uh, see what we can come up with. And uh, also remember, I'm not a professional leather worker, uh, so there's probably going to be some things I'll do wrong. But uh, you know what? Bear with me, and uh, we'll see what we can get made. The first uh, step of this uh, molding, uh, this little pouch, isn't actually going to be to make a mold, uh, but I'm going to actually use the tool itself to mold my uh, my wet leather around it. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to mold this kind of around with my hands. I'm going to staple down the sides, um, get the, the general form going, and then I'm going to put it in the oven for like uh, short little uh, five uh, minute durations at a real low temperature, like uh, 170 ish. Um, I think my oven might just go down to uh, 190, but anyway, I'll have the door open uh, the entire time. So it just it kind of sets the uh, the the form, um, but it doesn't do anything uh, too damaging to the leather. So that's all we're doing right now is just just trying to get a form. Uh, like I said this uh, before, this is just a real real rough copy. Uh, once I get this all dried and formed, I'm gonna go in with my X-Acto knife and kind of clean these lines up and just give it give it kind of a nicer look. Um, but for the purposes of right. Right now, I just kind of cut this out in just a basic horseshoe shape. And then this will end up getting sewn uh, to the back of the back piece that's actually going to go on my buddy's tool belt. So let me get this uh, kind of formed up. I'm going to put my staples way, way, way on the outsides of this. Just so that I can have enough to be able to make my form. And have this kind of stay in the the same place so I think that's gonna be good and we'll just uh, now I'm gonna start uh, molding this with my tool uh, like I said you can use uh, like a hammer handle this is just an old uh, small hammer if you don't have a specialty tool just use that hammer handle it's uh, perfectly smooth it's gonna do just a perfectly good job or uh, you know, use what you got, your your fingers. Uh, for some of the people who've been following the channel, you'll recognize this board. This is uh, the piece of plywood I got the uh, uh, the little uh, keyholes for my uh, uh, garden soil block uh, maker. So anyway, let me get this formed up. I'm going to throw it in the oven, and I'll bring you back when it's a little bit drier and it's starting to hold shape. Okay, so I just popped it out of the oven. Um... As you can see, the form's starting to, to take shape a little bit. I'm going to reinsert this. Um, obviously, that's going to misshape in the form just a little bit. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and work this with my hands a little bit. And just basically try to reinforce that, uh, that form. After that's done, um, I'm just going to let it sit and dry out completely. And then I'll trim these edges uh, to a, a, a way that I like it. And then we will uh, start getting ready to uh, sew these uh, pieces together, this uh, to the back piece. All right, well, I've uh, uh, got it out of the oven after the, the few times I've just let it sat, over, uh, sat overnight. And I'm in the process of trimming uh, the piece uh, to where I can still uh, slide the glass cup in uh, real nice. Because uh, when I formed it, I kind of formed it around the, the top of the curve, which wasn't the perfect thing. but. As you can see, it's this thing's hard. Uh, this is saddle leather, uh, so I think this is going to hold up really nicely for him. But I need to have it where it can slide in real easily. So if you'll see, I've got another little line there. 
and I'm just cutting it so we can get our general uh, shape in. I'm also going to end up forming some of this a little bit, just cleaning it up. Uh, nothing real crazy. Uh, and once once I'm done with that, then I'm going to uh, trim this out. Then we'll get the back piece trimmed out, uh, get a belt loop uh, attached, uh, and then we'll maybe do some uh, some stamping of my buddy's name or his company or something like that. Should just be able to slide this guy in like that. Obviously, this is going to be attached to a uh, a back piece later, so. Well, I've gotten the rough shape out. Uh, this is obviously the back piece. Uh, it kind of looks <laughs> a little strange and a, and a little big. Uh, again, this is saddle leather, so I'm hoping it's going to hold up real well for, you know, kind of an industrial application of my buddy working on glass and doing all that stuff. Um, this piece is going to bend back um, to form a belt loop, and I'm going to try to put his name or initials or, or something right there. Um, but right now I'm going to glue this together so I can... Uh, uh, kind of get ready uh, for the uh, the next uh, like stitching and, and putting some rivets and uh, stuff like that so Here we're putting the uh, edge groove in. Uh, this is basically going to act as a guide uh, for the, st the stitching. Um, it's also going to sink the stitching down into the leather to where it kind of gives it a nice cleaner look. And it also gives us an idea where to either uh, punch our all holes or, uh, or drill our holes, uh, whatever fashion you're doing it. I know all is probably more of a traditional thing, but I like the drill because uh, I do all this uh, the sewing by hand and uh, the bigger drill hole actually makes it a little bit easier. Not much, but just a little bit. So basically all you do with this guy is just uh, set the edge. Uh, you, you Basically you just measure this piece, uh, tighten that little uh, nut down at the end, and then it just gives you a... Uh, a good little consistent line. Um, the holes I've, I've drilled here are for uh, copper rivets that I'm going to put on and, uh, after I stain this.
So I'm going to use that to set it on there. And usually you'll hear like a little ping. So, okay, you see, we got that. Looks good. So now what I'm going to do is take my uh, pliers or uh, whatever snips and snip off most of this and then I'll peen the rest down. Work. As you see, it kind of gets a, a nice little smooth rounded off top. We're on to uh, almost our last step, and basically that is uh, stitching it. As you can see, those are the stitches I've already done. Uh, this is my least favorite part, just because I hand stitch everything. Um, I don't have a nice uh, fancy sewing machine. They're pretty expensive for this kind of thickness. Uh, again, this is saddle leather, um, or the same type of leather you'd use. But basically the technique is you have one string, and there's two needles. And this piece of string is the same as this. It just goes all the way through this thing and it's really long. Um, but you'll go through one hole with one side of the string, or I shouldn't say string, it's, it's thread. Pull that and then with the other side of the thread, the other needle, you go through the exact same hole. As you can see, this takes a long time and that second time going through the hole is really tough because uh, it, it gets real stiff. But that's uh, essentially it. As you can see, I've gotten those, and I've got uh, quite a bit further to go. <laughs> so I'll show you when it's done, and, and we'll test it out. Okay, so it's uh, it's all done. Um, here it is. It's pretty secure. I mean, it'll bounce around, but I mean, it's uh, it's not going anywhere. It's not coming out, but it still comes out pretty easy. So just slide it out like that. Uh, you know, whatever attached. Do your glass. Take it off. Slide it back in, still pretty secure. So um, I think it came out well. Uh, I mentioned before some of this leather was a little, little kind of splotchy. So some of the stain took a little different, but um, I don't think it's such a big deal. I think it adds character. The stitching came out nice and all that. So anyway, I'll show you some pictures and, and then uh, I'll let you guys go. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.